It's time for Tech Time with Timmy. Hello, welcome to Tech Time with Timmy. In this episode, Timmy's going to be talking about Google Keep. So Google Keep is a really cool note-taking service by Google, and it's really cool and you can really easily take notes on it. And so, if you have an Android phone or an Android tablet, it will probably come pre-installed on it already. That's like the default note-taking app on an Android device. But if you want, you can also install it on an iPhone or an iPad, or you can go to it on your computer by going to keep.google.com, and you can access all your notes on your computer as well, because it all syncs to the cloud. So on any device, whether it's Android or iPhone, or on your computer on the website, all your notes will sync across and they'll all be the same notes. And it's really cool to be able to have your notes all backed up to the cloud. That way if one device stops working, you'll still have your notes. So that's really cool. And it also has a whole lot of really cool features. So in this episode, Tim's going to show you all about that. Okay, so once you've installed the Google Keep app and opened it, whether you're on a tablet or a phone, then it'll be here and look like this. So it'll have all your notes here. So Timmy's only got one note at the moment, so it's only showing one. But if you add more, that all show up here. And so it, you can see an overview of the note and you can sort of read the note here. But if you tap on the note, you get it bigger and you can actually edit it and change stuff and type. And you can edit the title as well, or you can go back. So that's really cool. And if you want to take a new note, you just tap down here, take a note, and you just type out whatever you wanted to say. So you can type out anything you wanted to type in the note. And you can add a title if you want. So you might just any name you want. And so then once you tap on the back arrow, it will then save that note and it'll sync it to the cloud. So it's synced across all your devices, which is really cool. And with this little icon up here, you can tap on that icon and it will change the view of the notes. So now the notes are all going across with each note taking up the whole whole across part of the screen, so that can be really cool if you want a bigger overview of your notes. Or if you do it this way, you'll see more notes at once, so that's really cool. And you can also do a whole lot more things as well. For example, down here next to take a note, there's this checkbox icon, so you can actually make a checklist. So you see you've got a check a checkbox here at the moment, so you could enter the first item of the list, and then once you've done that, you can just press enter, and it will go down and create a new box. So that's really cool, and you could maybe give it a title if you wanted. So that's really cool, and then you can just go back, and now you've got that list. So whenever you want to, you can easily just tap the checkbox, and it will check it off the list, which is really cool as well. And you can also add notes from pictures. So if you tap on this little picture icon here, you can choose to take a photo or choose an image. So if you take a photo, that will open up your camera and take a photo right now. Or if there's a different image on your phone or your computer that you wanted to add, you can tap choose an image. So to me, will do that. So you can just tap on any image you want and it will add it into the note. And then you could give it a title. So you can give it a title and add the image. So it's really cool if you wanted to you wanted to take a picture of something and put it in your notes to remind you to do that later or something. So a pictures as notes can actually be quite useful. And so once you've added the image, you can actually tap on the image and you can tap on this little pencil icon if you want. And now you can draw on it, so you might want to circle something if that's the something that you wanted to remember or something. So that's really cool and it's really easy to do. And so in this, if you tap these three dots up here, there is an option, grab image text. So if the image you took, if you took a picture of a whole lot of text or something, because you wanted to remember all that text, you could tap on grab image text and it would actually grab all the text and type it out below. So if there's text in the image, you could tap grab image text and it would read it all with artificial intelligence and type it into your note, which is really cool. So if you then went back to here, you'd see in the note all the all the text that it grabbed from the image. So that's really cool. And then if you go back, that'll be saved in there like that. So that's really cool as well. And you can also add voice notes. So once you start making the voice note, you'll just need to speak and then stop speaking. And it will recognize when you've finished speaking and it will save that as the note. So Timmy will do that now. Timmy is really cool and this is a really cool example. And so that stopped speaking, it 
came it includes the audio clip there so you can play it if you want if you don't want to read it you can just listen to it and it's also typed it out because it has voice recognition so it's recognized all the words and typed it out and you could give it a title if you wanted so that's really cool as well and it's a re really fast and easy way to take notes so that's really cool and this pencil will also do drawing, but that's a bit more extensive to me. Might make a, an entire different video about that. So maybe subscribe to the channel if you were interested in that. So that's really cool as well. So when you're in your note, you get a whole lot of options within the note as well. So you can pin the note. There's this little pin icon up here. So if you tap pin and then go back to all your notes, this will now be up here pinned. So no matter how many new notes you add that would go over the top of it, this note will stay pinned right to the top. You don't have to pin it if you want to keep it. You can just scroll down every time you want to find it. But if it's, if it's something that you often need, you can just pin it and then it'll always be pinned right there and easy to access, so that's really cool. And another thing you can do is add a notification to it or a reminder. So you can choose time or place. So if it's time, you can do all this and just choose the date and time with all this stuff. And you can choose repeat when it repeats, if you wanted it to repeat every day or something, then you'd get a notification on your phone every day reminding you about this note. So if it was something you needed to remember, that could be quite convenient. And there's also place. So once you select place, you can tap on edit location and you can just start typing an address and it will find the map. It'll show up on the map so you know it's the right place. And you can also just type actual place name. So if it's a shop name or something, you can type that in there as well. So maybe you want to do every time you go to your supermarket, then the it'll remind you of the shopping list, which might be convenient. So that's really cool. So you could just select a place that came up on the list and now that place is there and you could just tap save and now whenever you go to that place you will get a notification, a reminder of the, that note. So that's really cool as well. And you can also archive it. So if you tap this archive button up here, that will archive the note and put it into your archives. So it'll no longer be in your list of notes. So you don't, you're not thinking about it anymore. But if you want to go back and look at it, Again, at a later date, you still can. You can just go into archives and see it, but it's not there bothering you. So you might want to do that in certain circumstances. So that's really cool. And also, if you tap on the three dots down here, you get some additional options. So you could tap delete if you wanted, which would delete the note. Make a copy, which would copy the note. And you can also tap send. And so you can copy it to Google Docs if you wanted. So if you have a big, long note typed out, you could actually make it become a Google document. And if you want to know what Google Docs is, there's a whole lot of other episodes about that. So you could tap that and it would make it be a Google Doc in your Google Docs account, or you can send it via other apps. So if you tap send via other apps, it will just come up with the normal sort of sharing menu on your phone and you can just share it with anyone you want, which is really cool. And then for example, you could share it via email and it would just make the subject be the title and all the content be the message. So that's really cool as well. So you could do that if you wanted. And if you tapped on the three dots again, you could add a collaborator. So if you have someone else who has a Google account, you can add them and they would be able to edit the note as well. So it's all synced a bit like Google Docs, if you know what that is. So if you add collaborator, you might want to add someone else. So if you just tap on that other person's, if you enter that other, other person's email address and if you're in their, if they're in your contacts, they'll just pop up. So you can just tap on them. So that's really cool. And now they're added in here and you can tap the X if you want to remove them. But if you just tap save, that will now share that note with them. So that's really cool if you want to have shared notes, which is really cool. And if you tap on the three dots again, you can also add labels, which to me we'll get to a bit later. And if you tap on the three dots again, you can also change the color of it. So at the moment it's white, but you could change it to red or orange or yellow or anything you want like that. So then once you've changed the color, if you go to all your notes, this note will be whatever color you chose and all the others will stay the same color. So it's really good if you wanted to categorize it. It can be good for organization, so that can be really helpful as well. So we might just change that back to white. So you can leave them all white if you want. And then you can also tap the plus in this corner as well. 
So you can add an image to this note that already exists, or you can add a drawing, which Timmy talked about before, which Timmy won't really go into, or a recording, which is the voice recording which Timmy showed you, or the check boxes as well. So that's if you have the note and you want to add any of those features to the existing note. So that's if you have this note already and you want to add any of those other features to this existing note, so that's really cool. And now if you tap on this menu icon here, you can go to Reminders, which is all the notes that have reminders on them. So there's that one, and Notes is all your notes. And you can also create a label. So if you tap Create a Label, you can create labels for anything really. So you might have a label of all the things to do, and then if you have multiple notes of things to do, you can add that, la you can add that label to all of those notes. So Timmy might make one that's Things to Do. So Timmy made one that is called Things to Do, and you can just tap the tick, and now that's a label. So if you go back into your notes now, you might want to add the note, this note, you might want to add the label Things to Do to it. So if you tap on the three dots and tap Labels, you'll see a list of all your labels here, and you can check that. And so now if you go back, you've added the label Things to Do to this note. So, if you go back to this menu again, it, under Labels now is the label Things to Do, so you can tap on Things to Do, and only notes with that label will appear. So it's just kind of convenient to categorize all the, all the different notes. If you have a lot of notes, it can be quite convenient to do that, so that's really cool as well. And then if you tap on the menu again, you also have Archive, which is all the notes you've archived, which we talked about before. And you also have Trash, which is all the notes you deleted. So any note you deleted will appear here. And that's only in the last seven days, though. So if you delete a note, it'll stay in Trash for seven days. And then after that, it will vanish completely and you'll never be able to get it back. So if you change your mind about deleting something, you'll want to act fast. So that's just something to keep in mind. And then you've also got settings. You don't really need to change any, any of the settings. They're all pretty good by default. But if you wanted to, you could change the default time for reminders and all just a few little stuff like that. But you don't really need to change that. So that's really all there is to the app. And then you can also access it on your computer. So all you need to do to do that is open up a web browser on your computer and go to keep.google.com. And so if you're not logged into your Google account, you just need to sign into your Google account. But if you're already signed into your Google account, it'll just come straight to your notes here. So it's pretty similar to the app, but it's on your computer. So you've got all the notes that you had on your app because it all syncs, which is really cool. And you have your reminders here and your labels, so you label like things to do, and your archive, and your trash. So the whole thing, it's all synced, it's all here as well as your phone or tablet. And you can take a note on your computer as well if you want to, and you've really got all the same features as you do on the app. So that's really cool, and that's really all there is to it. So that's really all there is to do with Google Keep. There's a few features that Timmy didn't, didn't mention that Timmy will get to in future videos. So if you're interested in learning more about Google Keep, you can subscribe to Tech Time with Timmy. So Google Keep is just really cool, and there's a whole lot of features, and it all syncs to the cloud. So that's really cool, and that's really all there is to it. So that'll be the end of this episode of Tech Time with Timmy.